Hello and welcome to another episode of Continuous Improvement, where we explore the technologies that shape our future. I'm Victor Leung, and today we're diving into a powerful feature of Kubernetes that's transforming how resources are managed in the cloud, the mutating webhook. Kubernetes is known for its robust architecture and extensive capabilities in managing containerized applications. Among its many features, the mutating webhook stands out as a tool that dynamically modifies and manages Kubernetes resources, offering a multitude of benefits for developers and system administrators alike. Hash what is a mutating webhook? At its core, a mutating webhook is part of Kubernetes admission controllers. These controllers are crucial, they act before resources are created or updated within the Kubernetes environment. The mutating webhook, in particular, allows developers to inject custom logic into this process, enabling modifications to resources before they're saved to Kubernetes object store. Hash how does a mutating webhook work? Let's break down the workflow. 1. API request, it all starts when a request is made to create or update a Kubernetes resource. 2. Webhook configuration. Kubernetes consults the mutating webhook configuration to determine if the webhook should intercept the request based on the resource type and operation. 3. Calling the webhook, if the request matches, Kubernetes sends the resource data to the mutating webhook's server. 4. Webhook server processing, this server can modify the resource according to custom logic and sends it back with a response indicating success or failure. Five. Admission review, finally, the Kubernetes API server applies the modifications and completes the request based on the webhook's response. Hash benefits of using a mutating webhook. The benefits of using mutating webhooks in Kubernetes are significant. Dynamic configuration, they allow for the dynamic modification of objects at runtime, crucial for adapting resources quickly. Policy enforcement, they enable the enforcement of custom policies automatically across your deployments. Security enhancements, by injecting sidecar containers, webhooks can add essential security functions like monitoring and network traffic control. Simplification of operations, they automate complex configurations, ensuring consistency and reducing manual labor. Hash best practices and considerations. While mutating webhooks offer incredible advantages, they come with responsibilities. Testing is crucial, errors in a webhook can cause serious disruptions. Manage timeouts effectively, to prevent delays in the API server if the webhook server is slow. Set appropriate failure policies, decide how critical your webhook is to decide whether to fail the operation if the webhook encounters an error. Ensure security, use TLS to secure webhook service and implement authentication measures. In conclusion, mutating webhooks provide a dynamic and powerful way to manage Kubernetes resources, allowing for automated, secure, and efficient operations. As you consider integrating this tool into your Kubernetes strategy, remember the importance of thorough testing and configuration to harness its full potential without unintended consequences. That wraps up our exploration of mutating webhooks in Kubernetes here at Continuous Improvement. If you're looking to bring more automation and precision to your Kubernetes management, diving deeper into this feature is a great next step. Thanks for joining me today, don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the tools that are shaping our digital landscape. Until next time, keep innovating and pushing the boundaries of what's possible.